everybody, my name is CJ, welcome back to Minecraft, it's been a while, but welcome back more specifically, welcome to a brand new snapshot, this is kind of the test building we have here with some of the new stuff, you may notice this new block right here, grimstone tiles, grimstone tile walls, you may be asking yourself now, you may be asking yourself what is grimstone, what is this kind of stuff, what is this special little block that you have? And where does this grimstone come from? Well, grimstone is actually something that's been added now to... Uh, what's it been added to? It has been added to the amethyst geodes, the geode stuff. And we'll, we'll show you some of the geodes, and I'll show you how I kind of found out where they spawn and stuff like that. But for now, we're going to just kind of take a look at some of the blocks themselves as well as kind of clean up this area because I'm going to use this world for building in the new snapshot and testing stuff out but anyways we need to grab some blocks first of all here's the new grimstone this is it right here this is what grimstone looks like this is it it looks very similar like this kind of looks like a different type of like stone it's it's a type of stone it kind of looks similar to tough a little bit tough is in fact still here you can see it tough and calcite are still here grimstone and then here's poly the polished variant will okay let's, let's, let's put the polished variant in see the polished variant looks pretty good very good in fact but this isn't the only variants we have we scroll down a little bit here we have grimstone bricks, grimstone tiles, and chiseled grimstone. We can take a look at these. This is the this is the grimstone bricks, grimstone tiles, and the grimstone, and the chiseled grimstone. Very, very, very unique looking blocks, but it adds a whole new building aspect. I mean, look at these bricks. These bricks look amazing. Honestly, I really, really like the Grimstone stuff. So far, I'm, I'm in love with it, definitely. And as with most brick uh, things, typically it, it also has, if we scroll down a little bit, way down here, you will see it's got, it's got stair variants of everything, it's got slab variants of everything. We got, of course, stuff here. This Dripstone block's been in for a while. Obviously, that's gonna be pretty new. The new thing here, Azalea, flowering Azalea leaves, Azalea leaves here, flowering azalea, and azalea, as well as the new big droop leaves, hanging roots, rooted dirt, moss block, moss carpet. Hold on, we need to grab the rest of the stuff. Where's the rest of stuff actually? Small drip leaves. Uh, bamboo's been in here for a while already. What else is new? Uh, something else is new down here. Uh, we got some glow item. We got some glow item frames too. Those are also uh, fairly new items. Anything new in redstone so far? No, I do not think so. Well, in here, while we're in here, though, also you can see that Grimstone also has its own walls as well. Anything new in here? I do believe Bucket of Axolotl. That's been in the game for a while. Axolotls have also been in the game for a while. I do not think there's any new mobs yet. That it. Glow insects. They've already been in the game. As well the rest of glow berries. New. As well as uh, a bunch of other stuff. I don't think there's anything new with potions. But yeah, this is some of the new stuff that we're looking at right now. Uh, let's take a look at some of the azaleas. This is an azalea tree. Grab some bone meal. Okay, so this azalea tree is planted. This is a flowering azalea. So these are the trees themselves. So they don't actually do anything really yet. Which is fine. But we're going to go into game mode spectator. So we can kind of see, take a look underneath. You, you'll see right away this the glow vine the weeping vines but more importantly 
if you look at the ground, we're gonna look take a look at the ground now. Here's a geode. You can see that some of this, the tough spawns here. What if we come in occasionally? Grimstone will spawn too. Although this one, this geode looks kind of cool. Grimstone does spawn around that stuff though. Occasionally, but as you can see, the cape generation is a lot different. See, the world generation looks a little bit different. We come underground now. Check out the cave generation. You can see it looks very, very different. Ravines, you have big flowing caves. Like this thing down here, what in the world is this? Oh, here's a grimstone patch right here. You can see it. Grimstone patch. This is a brand new type of cave that now spawns in down here. And we're gonna go into um, creative mode so we can get and get some, some potion so we can see actually. But check this out. This is the new cave generation we're looking at. You can see everything spawns in layers. The grimstone is everywhere. It spawns down. You can see now the water water will now form in this stuff. You can see it forms in natural looking pockets, which opens up a whole new existence. Holy Jesus. Like, check this thing out. This is amazing. Wow. Are you serious? This looks like a perfect... This is like the perfect base. Oh, yeah. Alright, we'll have to remember this spot. For sure. Yeah, you can see it continues on and on and on though. You see ore generation's a lot cleaner. Some diamonds in the walls right here. More diamond down here. Wow. Oh, this world's insane. Yeah, but you can tell that the cave generation has been greatly improved. How many diamonds are in here? Is Grimstone the Grimstone Caves must be the new place to find diamonds. Like that's only what I can assume. Jesus. This place is cool. Wow. I would I would I have never seen this insane of cave generation before. And you can see the cave just sweeps up. And this branch here branches up. This kind of looks like a more typical original cave to Minecraft. So some of it's gonna stay the same. But as soon as you get down here, though, I mean, look at this. This place just opens up. I'm going to go back into spectator. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Spectator mode. Check this out, though. Here's that Grimstone cave we were talking about. Already see the patches of diamond. Look how big this is. This is Minecraft's new underground. This is the new underworld we're looking at right now. Jesus. Okay, so these Grimstone, Grimstone spawns only down here now. I mean, you see the geodes are everywhere. It does not spawn by the geodes. It just happens to spawn. The geodes will spawn by in patches of it. Meaning that most of this stuff here, so yeah, this is all. So, so Grimstone replaces stone towards the bottom. Okay, that's what I'm gathering from it. And Grimstone is where you'll find diamond. So if you reach a Grimstone level, then you have a better chance of finding diamond. I mean, we can also take a look at the new ravines. You can see that they look substantially better too. Cave generations makes the caves very much larger. You can see there's a, there's a water cave here. Check that out, that looks cool. Also now in night vision on, we can take a look at the, the bottom of the, this bottom of the world, of the ocean. You can see that the ocean itself, its generation has been improved a little bit more too. It's more natural looking, more curvy, stuff like that. Very simple, minor cosmetic stuff, but in terms of like, this this is amazing and i think that we should definitely 
We're going to head back down to that big cave we found. Where was that? Was it this? I believe it was this cave. Is it you? Might be this cave. This cave here. Yeah. We're gonna start messing around with this world, with this cave here, and start using it to make some bay, like some sort of like city, because I can see this being right now in the perfect underground city. Perfect. Check this out. It just sprawls. So I think we should start working on this little area here seems like a perfect place. Um, night vision, please. Or, okay. Chest. Uh, chest. We're gonna toss all of my new blocks into here. Well, not every block is new. However, we do figure out kind of how we want to build this building. Tempted to use tempted to kind of use the building itself. We'll kind of use the cave's natural look. And we'll kind of build a, a little bit of a, a scaffolding here. Kind of mimic what we want to do. So this would be the wall to the front of the building. And just kind of built it up. We can add in some, some brimstone streets. Wait, we're doing that wrong. That's, that doesn't look right. What we can do is go in and add in some little bit of texturing later on and kind of make this building appear to come out of the wall itself, which is kind of what I want to go for. That I think would look really cool. already. Yeah, we're just going to build up a little bit of a building here and kind of give you an idea of what the underground now has to offer. Because now underground bases are going to look way better. We can build a cave base. If you see the size of a world like this, a cave base like this, look how insane this looks. This opens up possibilities that you wouldn't even believe are possible, but they are. So I, I give a huge shout out to Everybody at Mojang who has worked on this update, who has poured their hard effort, poured time and effort into it, thank you guys for for doing this. Seriously, this is this is amazing. This is an honestly an insane update. We're gonna add in some more some more detailing. Bit of detail in here. Check that out. Yep. There we go. Where do we want the entrance to go? I think we should have like a three by three entrance here. All right. We'll add in some. We we'll need to grab some regular brimstone stairs and slabs, anyways. Kind of build up a little bit of a yeah, kind of a crooked door. And a little bit of a crooked door there. Perfect. This kind of gives the warped appearance that I want. And we'll come in and then just add in some. Stairs of our own. We'll add in some stairs to kind of slope this place down a little bit. You know, add in some. Probably add in every each corner. And probably add in some slabs instead. We'll change the corners out for slabs. Cause I feel like this probably that this definitely improves some of the look. I'll just add in some brimstone slab there. 
That looks cool. Kind of slopes it down a little bit. Now we're having something here. Something here, and then just this. Can add a grimstone slab there and there. Just takes a little bit of time to kind of. Other than that, I mean, look how cool this looks already. This looks amazing. Yeah, see, this just kind of slopes up and down. And now we come in here and just clear up the bottom floor. And we're going to use the natural shape to its, to its advantage. As this is going to be kind of like a, I don't know what you would call it. We can use TNT too to help shape sort of what we want to go for here. This is probably going to be a regular house. This will be just a normal dwelling. Yeah, even though they have huge doors, don't judge me. Uh, we'll use spruce wood for the doorway itself. Huge. Check out how the doorway looks as a spruce door dual spruce door. Might just do a single. But yeah, the crooked off the crooked offset looks good. Okay. Crookedness. Actually we'll probably try let's try stripped spruce logs instead. Let's see if this improves the look. That's what we want to do. Or we'll be made out of stone, out of be out of brimstone again. Obviously, interior walls. We can definitely take this up way above what's necessary, but this just kind of helps make an air of grandeur, I guess. See, here's the big door. Um, where's the door? Okay, we'll just do door. Spruce doors, yes, they are going to fit in very well to this community. Yes, I like that. Okay, we're going to use regular, we're going to use soul lanterns. Lan lantern. Lantern. Chain. We want to use regular lanterns, actually. I feel like soul lanterns kind of hold a more ominous vibe, and I think that's what we want. Okay, time to start kind of constructing the interior of the of the building itself. We're gonna start by kind of terraforming in some curves again. something here. Out of the ordinary. What we can do that we'll just do this. Maybe make some sort of like a different wall shape and arch. We'll add in some a little bit of difference in here. Slab here and there. Just to kind of texture a little bit more and then just add in. Since this building is supposed to look like it's built directly into the into the mountain or 
underground cave more or less. Which it definitely is. I like that, it looks nice. Kind of textures that a little more. And then we can start carving out the dwellings. Which we do. Since the dwellings don't need to really have a specific shape or look to them, we can just start carving out rooms randomly. They just need to look diff they just need to look natural as possible. Although naturality is fun. Well, it doesn't have to look too natural, right? It does want to look a little bit man-made. Alright, we're just some of the roof a little bit and make it look like a mine shaft and since these creatures that would be living down here would be technically dwarves they'd be considered a dwarven species they would be considered a dwarven species for sure a dwarf of a dwarf species of some sort once again though uh, we're going to hang some lanterns an offset lantern will hang from here, or actually can hang from here. And we'll just clear out the roof as a way to like give the room a little bit more height. We want a little bit of height in here. I want to make sure like it feels like. Terraforming. There we go. A few bits of terraforming later. Hang a couple lanterns in the corners of the room. Especially over here. Oh, no, that's not going to work. few soul lanterns in the room will help make this place come alive for sure. What we're going to use for the flooring is going to be grimstone tiles. We're going to use a tiled floor of some sort, kind of a more, a more dark contrasted floor. Something that really contrasts with these workers' style. We are going to build in something a little bit here. There will be a little bit of uh, something over here. We obviously know that there will be something here. A little nook in there, right? I mean, these are miners. These are miners. These guys, they, they work out their living. They come down here to mine the resources they get shipped to the very to the surface. So their whole purpose of life is to live down here. So we're going to do that. We're going to do this. We're going to make sure that they would do this. And we're going to work on this episode. We're going to work on this city for the pet for the next couple of, of months, probably. In maybe a month or so. I am going to start working on this. I may even stream this live on Twitch where you guys can come in and give me ideas. Okay, I would like to see how this looks without. Go away, come on. Yeah. Really grungy. Luckily this world's in peaceful, but I like the dark atmosphere for sure. It looks super cool. 
hang a few lanterns over here every here and now. Yes. Hang a few lanterns from the ceiling too. Light up the ceiling. A few lanterns that kind of just hang. Two, three, four. Boom. A few lanterns at the back. Once in a while. No lanterns everywhere. This is the type of atmosphere you want, though. This looks amazing already. Probably quite a few lanterns scattered around. Probably do a hanging lantern from the center. Light the room up a little bit more. And yeah, these are these these are this guy's home. Wow, that's dark. Still looks incredible, though. Are you kidding me? Oh, why can't I place anything there? Oh. Because of that. And that blows. If I do it like that, though. Fix the floor. However, I'm already a fan of this build. I'm already liking it. Got a lantern on the floor. We've got lanterns hanging everywhere, though. They all hang from the ceiling at different heights for no reason. And it's, the building is still fairly dark. This is, this is the home of a dwarf. A dwarfin society. Dwarven society, not dwarfin. English. Check this out. Yeah, I like that. Awesome. There's a dark unknown where they go in the mine. These guys are hardworking miners. <coughs> Stone tile wall. Yes, we will use some tile walls too throughout this place just to light it up a little more. Place a uh, grimstone lamp here. Place a lantern maybe here instead of there. Well, actually, we can place a lantern here. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure there's not too many lanterns hanging around there. But we don't want too many lanterns hanging from the ceilings where it's overwhelming. I'm going to fix this though. I don't like the ore. Okay. Well, now we need time to decorate this place. What would a dwarf look? What would a dwarf house look like? Well, it's obviously going to be fairly grungy so we're gonna go for a, a dark gray bed of sorts built into the corners here we got two beds there followed by a dark chest in the middle actually they probably use barrels uh, barrel they use some storage barrels lined up around here Use a few storage barrels lined up and around here. As well, we can also build some torches. Torch. Soul torch. And item. Frame. And then stone. Stone slab. Yes. Yeah, I have an invisible item frame texture pack on. Which means I can do stuff like that. Which looks really cool. So we don't have to do... Oh, wait, we need to do this. Yeah. The 
Porsche's had really good character. I definitely like that. I like this big wooden wall too. Big wooden wall. Some more storage barrels, obviously. For no reason, they just kind of like have barrels everywhere. These guys are kind of like hoarders. Obviously, they're kind of a hoarding piece. And of course, in the corners, we're gonna have piles of ore. Such as like copper, there'll be huge stacks of ore from when these guys come back from the mines. Obviously, they need a place to put their ore. And where are they going to put it? In their house. Massive pile of ore here. Another pile of ore can go in this corner large pile of iron ore as these guys are well, natural miners it only makes sense for them to have large piles of ore lying around piles of ore we're going to put a armor stand around with some what kind of armor would these guys wear They definitely wear chainmail armor. Dwarves wear chainmail armor. We're gonna do iron picks. Give them some iron tools. and then okay well that's just gonna put the armor on me I don't want the armor on me however once again though we can just hang the tools here got a couple tools that they hang from there All right we got a few swords that hang up from here Pickaxes probably hang like this. Pickaxes hang there and there. As well as over here, we can put a pickaxe down on the floor over here. Looks cool. Alright. That's very fitting. I think that's very fitting for a dwarf. And obviously, they will have. Two people will live in this house, probably. And yeah, check that out. That's cool. So anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please leave me a like, subscribe, turn notifications, all that good stuff. If you want, and I am definitely gonna continue working on this Dwarven City project. It's a lot of fun. I'm gonna be doing some live on Twitch. I'm gonna be doing some of it on live on YouTube. I'm going to do an episodes anywhere I can. And yeah, that's it. So I hope you guys do enjoy it. And as always, I did. Ho I do hope you enjoy this video as I put a lot of effort to it. I may not edit it, but I still try to do my best. But anyways, that's all I have to say for today. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace out and goodbye.